Okay, this is a supplementary Algebra 1 lesson uh, on scientific notation. So this is uh, to help you prepare. Uh, you should have a, a handout called Algebra 1 Notation-2. Uh, I thought we needed a little bit more practice, <coughs> excuse me, on scientific notation. Okay, and so remember, remember in all cases in scientific notation, Okay, what we are doing, we want to express uh, the number itself here as one integer followed by a decimal and then either two or three decimal places after that. And let's just make it easy from here on out. For some, Let's just say we're going to do two decimal places, okay, and then <coughs> that number times 10 to some power to indicate the number. Now, most of you are really good at doing, taking really big numbers or really small numbers and um, turning them into a scientific notation. And these uh, problems, number two, number three, number 10, I've taken right off of this notation sheet. So we'll be doing three of your homework problems uh, regarding that. So right here, <coughs> we'll take that first integer one in this uh, number one billion, okay? A decimal point. Let's put the next two decimal places. 1.23. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to express it times 10 to the what power? We are moving the decimal place over. 1, 2, 3, 4 by 6, 7, 8, 9 places. Okay, so <laughs> what have we done to the actual number? We have made it much smaller. So we must compensate by taking that power of 10 to the ninth power, representing that we move that decimal place nine places. So now the numbers are equivalent. 1,231,000,000 equals 1.23 times 10 to the nine power. Okay, now on these types of problems, uh, there seemed to be a little bit of confusion, okay? Uh, a number of you took this number and turned it into either a decimal number or a big number like that. That is not scientific notation. Scientific notation must always be in the same form here, okay? So what we have here, we have an expression in exponential notation because there's an exponential power involved, but it's not in scientific form because we have 4,000 as the number, okay? We need it as one integer followed by a decimal, then two numbers after the decimal, okay, times a power to the uh, 10 to the power, okay? Now to uh, review how we can handle those, there's, there's two ways. Let's skip down to problem number 10 and we'll review one of those ways, okay? We know from our rules of exponents, okay, if we have two bases, the same he raised to powers, okay? Like if we had this x to the minus seventh times x to the third, we know we can handle that two uh, variables raised to a power. It is the variable and then the powers are added together, okay? Minus seven plus three, equals minus four. So the solution would be x to the minus four. It's the, it's the same thing here, okay? 10 to the seventh, x to the, or 10 to the minus seventh, x to the minus seventh, times 10 to the third, times x to the third. It's the same thing. We can take that base and we can add the exponents. Okay, so the solution is 10 to the minus 4. Okay, but that is not in exponential notation. We have combined the powers of 10. Okay, uh, so to change that into exponential, with the decimal places right here with 10, we're going to move it one place over. So we get 1.00 times 10 to the what power? Well, we have moved the decimal place over one slot, okay? We have made the number smaller, 
So we must make this number bigger, okay? We're going from a minus 4 to a minus 3 now, because minus 3 is bigger as a number than minus 4 is. Okay, it's further to the right on the number line. So this is our expression exponential form for problem 10, okay? 1.00, okay, keeps in that same form times 10 to a power. Okay, see how that works? Okay, I'm going to erase this now. Having that tool in our toolbox, let's go back up to problem number three. Okay, one way we could do this problem is just like we did the top one. It's in an exponential form, but it's not scientific notation. Okay, so we want to move the decimal place over here. Okay, we want it to be 4.00 times 10 to a power. Okay, we are moving that decimal place over one, two, three slots. Okay, what have we what have we done to that front number? We have made it smaller by three decimal places. Okay, so to compensate, we must make this power of 10 bigger by three decimal places to keep it equivalent. Okay, to make this power bigger by three, okay, it's going to change it into a minus. 37 because 30 minus 37 is bigger than minus 40 okay another way we could handle those problems is if we want to express just this number itself in exponential form 4.00 times 10 to the third i moved the decimal place over three made the number smaller I compensate by putting a 10 to the third there, okay? Then I multiply it by another 10 to the minus 40. That's in our expression, okay? Well, what does that equal? It's going to equal 4.00 times 10. And what do I do here? I have the same situation here. I have two bases, base 10, that are the same, okay? It's going to be 3 plus a minus 40, which is a minus 37, okay? That's using our rule of exponents. Notice, they come out to be the same answer. So whichever way you prefer, if you like moving the decimal and just keep track in your head, okay, I'm making that number smaller, made that number smaller, therefore I must make the power of 10 bigger by the same amount, by three decimal places, Okay, I made it bigger by three decimal places. Or I can change that front number, that 4,000, into exponential form and then combine the 10 powers. Because remember, when we multiply numbers together, it doesn't matter what order we do them in. So we can multiply these, these bases of 10 together first. That's what we do over here. We combine them in a multiplication first Okay, and we just leave, we don't perform this multiplication with the 4.00. We just leave it out front because that's our proper form for scientific notation. Okay, so in all cases, the proper form for scientific notation is one integer, a decimal place, two decimal numbers, power of 10. Integer, decimal, two decimal places, power of 10. Integer, decimal place, two decimal numbers, power of 10. It always has to be in that format to be scientific notation. So I hope that will help you with your notation 2 worksheet uh, that will be due, let's see, that will be due on Thursday. That's your homework uh, for Wednesday. So if you do not have that, uh, shoot me an email or text message right away. I do believe I have that scanned in uh, on my flash drive and I can send you that by email. So hope that helps. Uh, shoot a message with any questions, so long for now.